Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, November 1st, All Saints Day, although we'll, we'll be celebrating it next Sunday. And I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat is still romping outside. I have with me this beautiful painting, helping me pray. So many planets in its circles of life, not just ours, but lots. There has to be life somewhere else in the universe, although whether it's life that we could perceive in our little three-dimensional way of viewing the world, it's hard to know. But it's full of life, the universe, for sure. A mystery. As the days darken here, we think more about the sky and the stars. the infinite universe. We continue in the book of Nehemiah. He's getting really close and almost completing the wall and the neighbors are beginning to really have a fit. They try to scare Nehemiah. They tell him that assassins are gonna come. They call him to come and visit with them outside of the city and again, he refuses, and he refuses to become afraid when they say someone will come into the temple and kill you there. He just decides not to believe in the fear, and he keeps rebuilding the wall until it's complete. And so many people are upset with this, with health and restoration. Isn't that interesting? Not only the neighbors, but some of the Jews inside of the city start talking with the people outside who are threatened by this. There is nothing like health and wellness to threaten your neighbor. In fact, the more you do the will of God, the more you're liable to face opposition from people who are threatened by you, whether it be through gossip or maligning or just being difficult. The roadblocks, in fact, increase the more that you come closer to doing God's will. After all, look what happened to Jesus. <laughs> so Nehemiah not only rebuilds a wall, but he fortifies himself against the temptation of fear and panic. He refuses to give in to fear. When you take action, when you do things that are of service to the world, you do get afraid, it's inevitable. When we take risks, we get afraid. When we change things or restore things, we get afraid. Fear is in fact a good sign. It's a sign that we're coming close to doing something good and new. Remember Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was scared and he was doing what was incredibly right. And so my friends, if you find that your days are difficult, if you find obstacles rising up against you, don't necessarily think you're going in the wrong direction. You may be doing something very right. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the mystery of serving you. We ask you to give us courage for fear is part of the spiritual life and the closer we come to really letting go of our selfish ways, the more we will be afraid. But help us to put our trust in you. Fortify us against all the negativity that is out there Give us wisdom, Lord, to make right decisions, right actions for the welfare and peace of the world. Bless the sick today, Lord. Bless those who are dying, the hungry, those who mourn, those who suffer from mental illness or addiction. Guide us each day to do the work that you would have us to do and blanket this earth with your grace 
This we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Be strong and get out there and have a great day.